The man, feeling victorious, decided to relieve himself towards the palace, causing a massive stream of urine to splash onto the king's face. The general rushed to intervene, but Gulliver turned around and erected the remaining urine onto the general's head. Having successfully saved the king, Gulliver was immediately held as a hero. The king held a grand celebration in his honor. The people of Lilibet were curious about Gulliver's identity, and he quickly claimed to be the legendary Alderman, specializing in dealing with all sorts of monsters. In order to serve this hero well, the king had a super luxurious mansion built for Gulliver, arranged for thousands of Lilliputians to tend to his daily life, built a private cinema, and had Gulliver replace the general, taking command of Lilliput's military. The general was somewhat angered by this end, in an attempt to make Gulliver look bad, deactivated the defense systems. When the enemy noticed their defenses were down, they immediately attacked. Gulliver had no choice but to confront them. He removed his clothes and large shoes, appearing before the enemy bare-chested. However, he didn't want to harm the Lilliputians and urged them to flee.